We're up to seven snack breaks, but just one fuel stop. We're up to seven snack breaks, but just one fuel stop. We're up to seven snack breaks, but just one fuel stop. We're up to seven snack breaks, but just one fuel stop. We're up to seven snack breaks, but just one fuel stop. Yeah, we have three. Hello, my friends. Here we are, AMA, once again. Uh, there we go. So, for today's video, I went on my Instagram. I asked the people, the people of this world, to ask me any question they want. We're going to go through these questions, and you will see that some of them are kind of weird, and I won't really answer all of them, obviously. Obviously. So, yeah. Boom. Here's my phone. So, here we go. So, right off the bat right off the bat we see do you sell uh, flexing vids what the fuck uh, are you talking about stop it stop it if i was selling flexing vids people would know people would know all right so i am not i've been bodybuilding for 20 years if i didn't sell them for 20 years i'm not gonna start so nope and let's keep going. Oh, and Dahlia here is asking what when's our next YouTube video we're gonna film together. I gotta think of something. Bicep and centimeters. I actually don't know. I don't know. I would measure them right now, but I got a hoodie and you always measure pumped up. You never raw dog an arm measurement. You gotta get a pump first. And somebody here is asking me, are you Muslim? I don't think I qualify as a Muslim, but I was talking about the day other day where I believe that God, because if, you know, God is like in another realm, a superior realm that's like everywhere at all time, we are in this plane, like made of like material you can touch and stuff. And the words that we use to describe stuff are created in this material plane to describe the stuff around us. How can we describe something that is not from this realm with the words that are created to describe things in this material plane. So I was like, we can't really describe God because we don't have words. We can't use words to describe it. And then somebody said, hey, you're the Muslims that say that. That you shouldn't like describe or try to explain God with words or something. So I guess I am not Muslim. I do like all their sayings though. It's pretty cool. Like God, God bless is like, what is it? Alhamdulillah. Look, look right there. We go from uh, talking about God to do you sell your uses posers? Come on. I know, I'll sell them for one million dollars <laughs> more. Taylor, would you buy my used posers? I get them for free, baby. She gets them for free when she does her laundry. She steals them. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, there you go. Carly. Wow, that's actually a woman. A woman asked me a question. Um, Carly Gontier is asking, what's your fab thing to do other than fitness related? I do like playing video games, and I started a new hobby that's like going to be not that much time consuming for now, I guess. But I like going, uh, you know, gun stuff, shooting guns. I like that. I went once. I got my license. I applied, actually, and I'll have it soon. So, yeah, I like to go to the range and do that. It's pretty cool. One day, if there's a zombie apocalypse, I'll be ready, able to do headshots. I hope zombies are only killed with headshots. <laughs> Imagine, like, I played this game, it's called, um... God damn it, it was a remake. It was a remake. Dead Space. So this game, Dead Space, you can't kill the, the zombies by shooting the head. You kill them by shooting the limbs. So they can't move anymore, right, and attack you. I'm like, oh shit. Imagine this whole life, you learn the movies, oh, the brain, you gotta shoot the, them in the head. But what if it's like, the whole body's alive? The whole body's a brain. The whole body's like a fungus and just trying to kill you. Anyways, we'll cross the bridge when we're at that river, right? Hopefully we never get there. And uh, this person here, boxers or briefs? Hmm, if I had to choose one. I mean, briefs are good when it's like you gotta do a check-in with your coach posing and stuff. But I think boxers are a little bit more comfortable, you know, a little bit more comfortable. So I would choose boxers, I guess. Current prep. I'm not really prepping right now. I mean, as far as dieting goes. But I just started, I guess, a preparation for the Arnold Classic 2024. That's a 
some news for you. And yeah, I mean, I, I need to be accepted, but I'm going to send my application October 1st. What are your goals? Gian Cusimano. My goals. Well, bodybuilding wise, I want to go to the Arnold Classic and I'd love to win the best posing award. I'm going to start practicing very soon. I'm nine, nine months out. I got the song already. The routine, the first part is kind of already structured because I'm going to go off the one I made for the Olympia that I didn't get to pose because only the top 10 was posing. Gain some muscle, die down properly, win best posing award. And I'd love to make top five for the Arnold. That'd be a good goal, right? As far as other goals in life, get married, make a babies, and make some money, buy a house, do some art, be happy on a daily. Oh, there we go. Rimar Cooks. Any tips for any tips for someone who struggles so much with motivation? They keep on giving up. The thing is, my friend, I've said it before, I said it again. We can't rely on motivation to uh, go to the gym. If motivation is is only is only thing keeping you going to the gym, emotions come and go. They vary. They fluctuate. So you can't go to the gym only when you're motivated because you you won't go constantly. Like you said, it's gonna feel like you're giving up all the time. The thing is, is that as stupid as it sounds, not stupid, but very simple actually. Discipline is the only thing that's gonna make you go to the gym constantly. Discipline. Discipline is doing something you don't want to do and doing it anyway because you're committed to it. It's pretty much what it is. So maybe start installing installing some discipline in your life, but start with something small. I tell Taylor in the back, like, going to the gym, you know, is the thing you need to do. Once you get there, do whatever for now, you know? Like, you, you put the bar low, so that way it's like you feel proud of yourself when you're achieving these things, and you're not like, you're not going like, oh, I'm going to... I'm going to have six workout workouts seven times a week, an hour every day of uh, cardio. And this, then it's like, you're starting out, man. <laughs> start small. It's kind of hard to create new habits as it is. Don't start with like the crazy fucking Olymp Olympian, Olympic uh, training off the bat. It's like, of course you're going to fa fail. How much cardio would you recommend to Indeed for losing fat? I mean, I'm not even losing fat right now. And I'm doing an hour, six times a week. So I think you use cardio, you can... Do between 20 to an hour, I think is very reasonable. Plus the diet. The diet will be the main thing that will make you lose body fat. What you can do is that instead of like eating less food and doing zero cardio, you eat more food and you do more cardio. And also cardio is good for the heart, good for your conditioning, and um, it's just good for you. It's more exercise. I mean, do you like exercising? I do. So more exercise is good. <laughs> when the swole the gathering cards is going to come out? That's funny. I made the magic, the gathering cards for a video. Oh, that's, that's a white one. So here, actually, made the, oh, there's a Nick Walker one. Yeah, it's pretty funny. I wrote on it like, mega arm pump deals 20 damage to target, cannot go flat, carb loads on second turns, <laughs> weakness, the Cheesecake Factory. Then a little quote at the bottom. You're gonna watch Mike loose from the sideline. I made a Big Lenny one. Strong card, Big Lenny. Big Lenny. And it says, uh, half reps deal 15 damage, armored gut adds 10 defense, <laughs> immune to most substances, weakness, cookie cutters. And then a quote, of course, what do you, what do you think about that, Dale? So they're never going to come out. That was just a joke for a video. Go on my Instagram and you'll, you'll see it. What is your shoe size? You know what's funny? I wonder like what, what, what these guys asking that are saying. Because I'm pretty sure it's a guy. Because anything regarding feet, it's always some... some freaking weirdo in the you know so is he asking shoe size because he's wondering like just oh i wonder what the, who the fuck thinks that wait a minute does a normal person would wonder like hey, i wonder what his shoe size is just from looking at me like it's another person on instagram i wonder what his shoe size is i'm gonna ask him and it, uh, th there's no emotion attached to that there's nothing the only the guy only wants to know what the shoe size is but then if i tell him he's gonna be like what is he going to do with that information? Oh, okay. Oh, hmm. And just move on? Or is he going to be like, hmm, I thought it'd be bigger. What do you, what are you going to do with that? Or is it, my, I'm assuming it's just some weirdo with like some foot fetish stuff. Oh, what's your shoe size? Oh, 12. Oh my God, 12 shoe size. And then the guy will start jerking off. 
to get both shoe sizes. That's pretty weird, man. So, <laughs> yeah. Next question. How old are you? Same with this guy. What do you care about my age? Are you going to, am I going to tell you like I'm 30, 36 and you're going to be all aroused? Do you have like a, something for age? Like when people tell you you're, you're their ages, you're like, you get aroused and stuff. Fucking weirdo. I'll be 36. The guy, oh, it's going to be 36. I like the late 30 number. Then he starts jerking off. <laughs> for fuck's sakes. Would you ever come work out as Fusion Fitness in Cambridge? Hmm. It's kind of hard for me to give myself an excuse to go anywhere else but Pure Muscle and Fitness. So, I don't know if I would. Why don't you come out to Pure Muscle and Fitness? That's the question, Jim Burley. You want to be a burly man? Pure Muscle Fitness is the place to do that. Favorite biceps exercise? I did arms today. Did I? Yes, I did. I like the Atlantis Preacher Curl. I like the Concentration Curl. You know, with the leg like that, with the, the, the elbow on the side of the leg. And then you do the curls. Like, it's like the first bicep movement I did, along with the, just, I guess, standing curl. And I still love that one. I did it today again. Such a nice squeeze. I love that movement. Daniel Salina is asking, is that a... Daniel Salina. I don't know if you're a woman or a man. But you look like, you look like Bob Ross holding a baby. Do you really think Ian, Ian, Ian deserves to uh, win the Toronto? I think so. I think uh, Hassan was a little bit too soft in the back. That's the only thing that I think uh, was like. I don't know if he was. I don't know if he would have still beat Ian. To be honest, it would have been a closer decision. Uh, Matthias Skalmar is asking: Is there a full day of eating plan for YouTube? I miss those. I mean, I got a few of them already on my channel, but I could probably make a new one. Everything to be an actor. Well, people tell me that. Oh, I should get to acting. I'm like, all I think about is like how I, could, I have trouble speaking English properly and also doing like these um, auditions. <laughs> this is a waste, of, a waste of time so far. You know, I, I do my best job at acting. This this one ad, I had to drive, a, pretending I was like in a truck driving and I did the whole thing. And what was my line again? We're up to seven snack breaks, but just one fuel stop. And then at the end, I was like, we have thrill. Was that, it was like a Mazda, what, is it, what, what brand was it? Hyundai? Hyundai or Mazda like SUV ad, how, how about like, oh, it's it's really uh, good on gas and then the people are just stopping for snacks and, and then it's all about thrill. It's Toyota, <laughs> whatever, I don't remember what it was. And then I, I really, I'm really sure I was gonna get it. I did like the whole thing, I was in the car, Hyundai, yeah. And then I was like, I even like edited it, a little part of it. Maybe I thought it would give me the edge. So I don't know what these people just sat down and saw a bunch of like uh, of like auditions and like this guy. <laughs> We're not taking this guy. Like, I wonder if I if I hit my 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 accent. We're up to seven snack breaks, but one fuel stop. We're up to seven snack breaks, but just one fuel stop. We're up to seven snack breaks, but just one fuel stop. We're up to seven snack breaks, but just one fuel stop. We're up to seven snack breaks, but just one fuel stop. We're up to seven snack breaks, but just one fuel stop. We're up to seven snack breaks, but just one fuel stop. We're up to seven snack but just one fuel stop. Yeah, we have thrill. Fuck these guys. Fuck them. But yeah, I'd like to be an actor. I'd like to be like an actor with no effort. <laughs> like somebody's making a movie, movie about Vikings or something, and he sees me, he's like, you know what? I want this guy to hold an axe, scream, and get killed in the second episode. That's me. Hire me for that. I make a good Viking. Give me an axe, give me a sword. I can scream and run and slash like the Vikings did. Why? <laughs> Look at this question. Who's that? Mendy Fit. I think that's a woman. Why is your house like all one room without walls and the bed in the kitchen? <laughs> hey, I have a studio too. Look, it's a studio. But in the back, there is a bed in the kitchen, pretty much. But uh, why is it like that? Because it wasn't. It was not supposed to be an apartment. Well, let me tell you that. If I put the microwave on with a coffee maker. The breaker breaks, whatever. I like my place, to be honest. There's a, there's a lot of shit everywhere. But uh, you know what? The place is made to be placed. The place is made to be used as a place to do stuff. Come on, man. This is not a showroom. It's a go room. And a sexy room sometimes. If you... <laughs> 
Some guy asks, look at that, another really like, this guy is, is almost like, he's asking a question that's kind of like super sus, but in a way that's like not sus at all, like, like it was a casual thing. If you did butt stuff, what would be your top three? Hmm. Whatever it is, it would be to someone else. How's that? Somebody said Protina. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> Look at this guy. I'm guessing it's a guy. Bali Contest Prep. Would you come to Bali with your family while prepping in luxury villas, gear and groceries taken care of? What is this person? I want to go see this person. Whatever. I don't know. Would I leave my place here? I mean, if I can bring Taylor. If I can bring Taylor, I can go anywhere for a long time. I can manage not seeing the rest of my family for a long time. Because, you know, like, families are there for you. You know, they're always going to be there. And your mom, is the whole point of uh, parents is that they prepare you to, like, take care of yourself and handle life on life's terms, I guess. Be free, my son. Be free, my child. That's me. When I go to Bali, live in the luxury villa and prep, I'm like, I mean, it sounds cool, but I like my gym. If I would get paid to do that, you know, I don't know, maybe. Would you rather prep in the cold Canadian winters or... In Bali. I don't even know what Bali looks like. All right, let's figure it out. One sec, guys. Let's figure it out. Scene one. Oh, I'm going to do it. Boom. All right. Bali images. Indonesia. Holy shit. Huh. Wow, that's Bali? Whoa. It's pretty nice. I guess I could do it one time. <laughs> I guess I could do it one time. Bali's pretty nice, babe. Yeah, sweat so much, good for getting shredded. Look at that. I mean, why is it, where are all the pictures of Bali's that one building? Bali City. Oh, what the fuck? Do I really want to train in this? Oh my God, gift shops. <laughs> oh wait, it's only, oh, there it is. Gift shops, and then this is, is that it? It was like stray, st uh, what is the hay roofs? And I don't know. What if I put Bali City Gym? Boom. Oh, look at that. Johnny Africa. <laughs> Johnny Africa. The ultimate guide to the best gyms in Bali. Kangu Seminyak Kuta. Da -da -da. Spinning by. Oh, that's kind of cool. You see, like, the water there. Oh, there's a white person there. I thought Indonesia had no white people. Yeah, I don't know. The, I don't know. It's kind of cool. I mean, I can't tell. I don't, like, I don't know if I like this equipment so far I've seen. I mean, I don't know. Memberships, $8,000. <laughs> It's rupees? Am I even saying something? Why did a guy ask me that? Did a guy who asked me this actually Johnny Africa? Are you Johnny Africa? Hey, are you jo Johnny Africa? Who's that? Oh, no. It's Bali Contest Prep. Huh! Huh! Let's go see this person. Oh, you know what it is? I think I would have to pay to go there. Proportion service for both pro and amateur. Ah, it's, it's like somebody who's like, I'm going to create a pack. We thought about this at Pure, actually. Like, we have a deal with a hotel. You say, okay, you're, we're going to pay. It's going to be $1,000 a week. You have the hotel for the week. You have the meals prepped for you. You have the coaching service. You can have, like, one training session per per week with a trainer or whatever, and, like, like package. Or maybe you charge more than that. You charge 2000 a week. I thought about that. Like, oh, okay. it could be, like, a bodybuilding prep camp so you get like a the muscle mention was maybe going to be that too at some point parts of it like you rent one you went you, you rent bedrooms you know like 1500 per month or something and then there's things included and stuff and that so i think this guy's doing that i mean whatever there you go buddy here's some free um hopefully he's not a fucking scammer though <laughs> right yeah send me uh your pre-deposit ten thousand rupees but anyways guys thanks for watching there was a ADHD video, I think. But these questions are like that, usually. Got the more coffee there. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See ya.